what is going on guys it is prodigy and today a little bit of a different video for you i'm actually going to be doing a review on the turtle beach stealth 600 a wireless headset and uh, the reason i want to do this is just because you know i've kind of been in the market for a wireless headset and i thought this one was worthy enough to do a review on so um, previously, I was using the Astro A40s, which you guys can actually see the mix in uh, there. And here is the actual headphones, the Astros that I was using, just the A40 models. Um, nothing was wrong with them. Uh, I didn't necessarily have any problems with them. But um, the reason I was kind of wanting a wireless one is because you guys can see this, this cable here. Uh, sometimes when I'd be gaming, you know, I'd be here. Uh, you know, playing my game or whatever, and then I may want to get up and uh, adjust my fan or do something, and I'd forget the cord was connected, or I'd literally trip over the cord, because it's a pretty long cord. I know I could, you know, zip tie it up or something like that, but I never really just got around to it, and, you know, I would trip over the cord sometimes, the cord would get yanked out the mix amp, and I'd have to reconnect everything, and it just kind of limits my range of movement, because I like to move around a little bit. Uh, so I was looking for a good wireless headset to buy uh, this uh, Turbo Beach. This is the PS4 model. There is an Xbox version, uh, but the PS4 model works on the PS4 and it works on PC, which was the main reason I needed to get this one right here. So um, this is the actual headset right here. You can go ahead and just do that right there. Um, you know, nothing special. It is a pretty nice headset. It's very comfortable. Um, fits nicely on the head. You know, sturdy, very light. Um, and the sound quality is very good. So uh, I'm going to kind of cut here and uh, show you some different features about the headset. Um, like I said before, it's a very comfortable headset and kind of a key feature uh, that was important to me. Um, I wear glasses uh, some of the time, some of the time when I'm gaming as well. And when I had them on with my Astros, like right here, when you, uh, where the, the the headphone cup would cover, you know, my ears, you know, after about an hour or so, it would kind of start to hurt the side of my head when I had my glasses on. So it, I would kind of have to, you know, take them off a little bit and, you know, let my face kind of relax. Uh, but with these, I'm not sure if I can uh, show you guys accurately, but the cushion in these is designed to be super soft right here in this midsection so that when you have glasses going through here uh, it doesn't put pressure on the side of your head and I've been using the glasses with these um, I haven't had any pain so far so I mean they've been great uh, for that aspect but um, as far as actual sound quality goes um, these are very nice I would even argue that they're better than my Astro A40s I haven't tried any of the newer Astros like the A50s or even the A10s so I, I can't really compare it to that but compared to the A40s in my opinion these sound just a little bit better not by a mile but they definitely uh, do sound a little bit better and these were only $99 so um, they're not gonna obviously uh, break the bank either um, this they have a cover kind of virtual surround sound uh, system for these headsets um, but the key thing that kind of you know piqued my interest a little bit and made me want to try it out uh, was this preset they have on the headphones it's called Superhuman Hearing. Uh, it's basically a preset on the uh, headset where uh, it kind of turns up the, the the different audio settings. So like the minute sound effects are kind of bumped up. So like footsteps, reloads, um, bullets dropping, things like that. You can hear those more clearly, and when you turn to that preset, you can definitely hear the difference. Like it's it's a it's a noticeable difference in audio quality. Uh, so when I'm playing games like PUBG or Rainbow Six Siege, I definitely do notice an improvement in the sound quality uh, with the superhuman hearing preset on. So if you're looking to try to wear this headset, I would definitely recommend these um, for convenience and for sound quality. Uh, so now what I'm actually going to do is give you an uh, example of the mic quality for you, those of you who might uh, be curious about how the microphone sounds. Alright, so now I've switched the microphone over to the Turtle Beach microphone. You can see I have it flipped down right here. It flips up and down, so when you flip it up, the mic actually cuts off, and when you flip it back down, it cuts on again. Um, in my personal opinion, it's obviously not, you know, a super high professional quality microphone, uh, but for a gaming microphone and even a streaming microphone, 
uh, I would say that this is definitely a good one. Um, it doesn't really uh, give you too much background noise or too many uh, 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 like uh, unnecessary hissing or things like that. It sounds pretty solid, sounds great for in-game communication or if you're a streamer and uh, you want, just want a, a convenient mic to use without necessarily having a full uh, mic arm set up like this right here. Uh, but it's, it's definitely a good quality microphone, but obviously you guys are listening to it right now so you can judge the quality for yourselves. So overall, I would definitely say that this is a microphone worth picking, worth picking up uh, if you're in the market for a wireless headset or if you're just looking to try something new. If you have a wireless headset or are wondering about the quality of these and you're not trying to spend too much money, I would say go for these. Uh, once again, these are the Turtle Beach Stealth 600s. Uh, they're $99, so 100 bucks. You can get them anywhere, uh, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, uh, wherever. Solid pickup. I'm using these almost exclusively as opposed to my Astros right now. I'm satisfied. Haven't really been disappointed yet. Um, but here that is for you guys. Uh, in case you guys were uh, looking uh, for a new headset or you were looking at this specific one and just wanted a second opinion on it, there you have it. <laughs> so that's going to wrap up this review video. Hopefully I uh, provided all of the points that you guys needed to see. Uh, if you would like uh, different different reviews about uh, different things that I may purchase, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, but that's gonna wrap it up, guys. This is Prodigy once again. Thank you for watching.